Hey, 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 welcome back everybody. Rajay here with another beer review. To, now let's see, this time we're going to take a look at one that comes to us from Atwater Brewery. Brewery, well, I can't talk. This is the Voodoo Vator. This is actually one of the ones available year round. It is their Doppelbach High Gravity Beer. So we're looking at a 9% ABV. Um, as far as Beer Advocate, they actually, it ranked out as 79, which is okay. Great beer, it actually ranked out 59 overall, 46 for style. So, kind of interesting to see what this beer is going to offer. Best glass to use it for, they say, is a dimple mug, a stein, or a stein glass. Don't really uh, have a stein uh, or a dimple mug, so we're going to use this mug here, kind of like a stein glass. Supposedly the two caramel malts with the Munich malt is supposed to create a malty character for this beer. So let's go ahead and get this baby open. Pull some good, a little bit of smoke in here. Get the mug. Oh, oh, slow it down. Let that baby settle for a second here. So, first look here. Um, poured it out, maybe a little too quick. Got about one and a quarter finger on the head there. Nice, dark, can't see through. Uh, it's not fully jet black. It's got a deep brown tint to it, but it is not penetrable so you can't see through it with the uh, the dark color here uh, which you usually would expect on a Doppelbach um, I do see some of the carbonation it looks like well not I can't say I can see I can I can see it a little bit on the sides of the glass um, the foam itself on the head seems like it's gonna be some nice lacing it's stacked up nicely it is an off white tan beige type of foam um, on top it's kind of got a little bit of the uh, uh, slightly slightly rocky um, maybe even a little more frothy than that so um, from the head that I do have on it nothing to really stand out too much for that um, can't really tell any particles on the inside nothing that I see in the bottle so it looks to be pretty well filtered Go ahead and, oh, I can already get some of the uh, the aroma coming off. Yeah, that's um, a nice aroma. A lot of sweetness coming off of the Doppelbach. Um, we're looking at a caramel, molasses type smell. I almost want to say it's even got maybe a something like a tinge of honey or something with it. It's a real nice sweetness. Yeah, that's um, it's almost like a candy type smell. That's how sweet it is coming off of this one. So go ahead and see what this baby tastes like. The body itself, for a 9%, it's not overly heavy. I'm going to say it's a medium body on this one. Um, the texture, it's a little bit watery. But it's also kind of got that filling with it. So slightly watered, slightly watered down on the on the. Uh, intro into it but then it's kind of got something it's not really creamy or or syrupy it's just got more of a texture to it that actually holds it there so 
overall, the texture is not really too bad. Uh, I'm just trying to think how to phrase it best. As far as the carbonation, not over carbonated. Um, you do feel some of that there. I'm going to say, you know, it's got a probably a lively type carbonation. The finish is actually not too bad. It's not anything where it's astringent. You don't really actually taste the alcohol. So not having the alcohol come through on a 9% beer is good on one hand, bad on the other. Yeah, the mouthfeel, it leaves that, that tingle on the tongue, um, but then it goes away, so it has a crisp ending with the mouthfeel, kind of that short duration. The initial flavor, you get hit with the sweetness up front, um, and then that starts to fade down on the back end, but it does go sweet all the way through. Um, on the sweetness, I would probably say a light to moderate. It hits you, then it drops right out. So. Overall, not a bad flavor on the beer, not a bad um, appearance with it. Get the rest in here. If anything, um, the hold of the sustainability of the head or whatever, I would say on the appearance part is a little lower than what would be expected. But overall, what you would expect in a Doppelbach doesn't really stand out highly, but isn't really towards the low end either. I would actually give this one on a scale of um, a five point scale. I'm gonna say this one is actually about a three. Um, I think it holds in there very well versus some of the other Doppelbox that might be out there that you try. I've actually brewed one before and it's um, it's good quality versus it. You know, the one I actually brewed, I think I did a little bit better, but hey, that's just me. But this one holds pretty well. Um, I think it was a good one. I got a good deal on these, so I'm happy about that. I ended up getting a, a case for $12.99. You know, it's always good to know your local distributors that have the, some of the better stores in your area. One of the places we use here um, in Kentucky, we actually get a lot of deals on the closeout. So always try to find those good places um, where you can get those kind of deals to work for you. But, you know, I definitely appreciate you swinging by, seeing the video. If you like what you saw, as always, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you leave any comments, any feedback, any any questions, anything that you may have had. If you had this one, let me know what you thought of it. And of course, um, subscribe so you stay up to speed on any of the other videos as they come out. But here's to you. Happy drinking. Cheers. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.